going. Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard returned to Washington, D.C. on Tuesday to take part in the House Foreign Affairs Committee hearing on the situation in Syria. Secretary of State John Kerry testified. Last week, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard called for the president to seek congressional authorization for a military intervention in Syria and also joined several of her House colleagues in a letter to the president requesting that he consult with Congress before authorizing military force. I think there's no question, we've seen it clear today, that the use of these chemical weapons is horrifying. Uh, my concerns that I'd like to address with you lie in the fact uh, that the path that you're advocating for us forward still remains unclear to me on many levels. Uh, the right course of action, the most effective course of action, and whether or not the stated objectives that you have spoken about today and previously, uh, as well as making sure that we have a very realistic and honest understanding of what the next steps are and what the unintended consequences of this action could be. And that's really where my concern is, is the answer to the question of what happens next. Uh, I think that we can place many limitations on what role the United States will play, uh, both through resolutions and in other means. But whether we like it or not, the consequences of our actions will impact the civil war, uh, a very complicated region. And once we are involved with our military, it's likely that we will have to consider the extended role that we'll play in any escalation uh, or retaliations that occur. So I have three major questions that I'd like you to address. Uh, one is the very realistic possibility that a limited strike will not achieve your objective. Uh, the targeted strike to debilitate Assad, resulting in a deterrence of his further use of the weapons of mass destruction. Uh, both for him and around the world. And I just asked to look back in Iraq where there were thoughts that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. He was deposed, captured, and hanged. And what you're advocating for falls very short of that action. Uh, why would taking this lesser action deter him or other dictators over the world when clearly that example of Saddam Hussein has not deterred Assad? Uh, secondly, each of you has made a distinction between this limited strike and providing aid to opposition forces. By weakening Assad with this blow, are we not indirectly assisting the opposition forces in gaining strength? And lastly, with the control and use of chemical weapons, General Dempsey, you stated that the targets you're, you're talking about will be directly linked to means of control of these chemical weapons without actually releasing the weapons themselves. And I'm wondering what your strategy and objectives are regarding securing these weapons across Syria, especially if Assad loses control or if the regime falls, uh, how we secure them given the non-support from Russia and China, uh, in particular from Al-Qaeda and terrorists, people who have stated very explicitly their desire to harm our people and American interests. Uh, very good questions, Congresswoman, and first of all, thank you for, for your service very, very much. Uh, General, do you want to just take the last one and then we can take the other two? Yeah, I can do that. I guess this is what we get for training you how to ask questions about military operations. Um, and thanks for your service. The, uh, I'll take on the question of security of the weapons in the event of a, the fall of the regime. We do have, at the classified level, contingency plans with regional partners uh, to uh, to secure a finite, a limited number of sites. The, the, the challenge we have with that is the number of potential sites. And the regime has a tendency to move their chemical weapons around. We think to secure them, but at some point it may not be to secure them. And so I would just tell you that we do have contingency plans with regional partners for the security of the weapons. But it's a very heavy lift. Uh with respect to the uh, limited strike, the, not achieving the objective, I think the general has spoken to that earlier, that he has confidence that we have the ability to be able to achieve our objective, if not uh, in the first uh, you know, volley, certainly we have the ability to achieve that objective. And secondly, you said, would it inadvertently or would it not, in fact, help the opposition? And I've said uh, many times, as, as a collateral, component of this, any degradation of Assad's military will, of course, 
be of benefit to the opposition, but that is not the fundamental purpose of the, of the, uh, of the initiative the President is asking you to engage in. Ron DeSantis from Florida. Uh, 